a special crowd tonight, uh, Alumni Day, um, means a lot to us, and it just makes me sick we weren't able to get it done for, for all of them. And and um, it's uh, it's a very unsettling feeling. We talked a lot about uh, you know the defensive intensity that we had to have in that second half, and uh, they came out and scored 49. Um, you know, a lot of people probably think, well, why didn't you go to a zone? We did a couple possessions of that and had a hard time rebounding out of the zone. Uh, they just, you know, they've got a lot of kids that shoot the three ball really well. And, um, you know, it's like every time we didn't get a box out, it, it came back to, to kick us and uh, they were able to score on that. Uh, paint points, um, you know, the first time we played them, we dominated the paint points and tonight they got us, but they also sprinkled in some threes. and. Um, got to the free throw line way too many times. We talked about uh, not bailing them out, and they finished 18 for 18 from the free throw line. So, tough night. Um, you know, it's uh, backs are against the wall. There's no other way you can put it. Uh, you want to go to the NCAA tournament, and it's definitely one game at a time. But the reality of it is, the big picture is, if you want to go to the NCAA tournament, you probably got to win out. And so, uh, we'll see how we respond to that. Robin, when it comes to, to Brittany Davis, was, what kind of things are you trying to kind of slow it down a little bit, especially in the second half? Yeah, uh, tried to switch, you know, all that rub cut action, dribble handoffs, and and try to keep her in front and make her play on top of us. Uh, she's pretty crafty. Uh, she imposes her will offensively. Uh, three level scorer can shoot the three, obviously, and. Um, you know, they do a good job putting her in some isolation situations, and uh, we obviously didn't have an answer for her tonight. Um, we talk a lot about the, that middle eight, uh, eight minutes in between first and second half. Just how much did that kind of turn the turn how things went tonight? The middle eight between what? I'm sorry. First and second half. Oh, well, I really felt like in the second quarter. Uh, we did ourselves a disservice. We had some em em our empty possessions, and uh, I know we didn't shoot the ball very well. I don't, I don't know what we were from the field, and that's like three for 12. You know, we had a nine-point lead and just had empty possession, and, um, you know, that's when you really have a chance to kind of pull away a little bit. And uh, coming out at halftime, uh, I didn't like our first five minutes of the third quarter. And, um, you know, I thought after that they, they picked it up a little bit. Um, but bottom line is you can't allow close to 50 points and a half and expect to win. Ashton, with some pretty big minutes in the third and fourth quarter, obviously finished up five to five shooting. Just kind of, I mean, what were you seeing out there, um, especially in that second half? I was just trying to get stuff going for the team and uh, make plays happen, whether that was making the extra pass or just doing whatever I needed to do. For Ashton and Haley, you've heard Coach say that, you know, backs are up against the wall. You guys kind of have to win out. Just what's that feeling that you guys are having right now? Um, I think the locker room knows that. I think we need to control what we can control, and that's watching film and getting better in practice. We have a bye week. Um, and we just really have to buy into what the coaches tell us and um, buy into the fact that our backs are against the wall. Like, we have to have a chip on our shoulder. We have to go into games and be grittier, uh, more physical. Um, and that has to be 40 minutes. It can't be 35 minutes. Um, and I feel like we didn't do that tonight consistently for 40 minutes. And But from here on out, like, that has to be the mentality. Robin, what was the difference in the first half and second? Well, I thought we defended it a little bit better in that first half, obviously, and then second half, uh, we didn't really have any answer for Davis, and, and that really hurt us. Robin, having that whole week to reset, just how important is that at this point? I think really important. Obviously, you know, no, um, every game in the SEC is so challenging, and you know, we're getting ready to go to Arkansas, and, and obviously that'll be a tough place to play and against a really good team. So, um, I think it's been a, it's been a. A little bit of a tough week, and, and um, obviously this one cuts pretty deep, and, and if it doesn't, there's another problem. But I know it does. I know these girls care. Um, we just got to figure, figure some things out this week, like Coach, or like 
Coach Troop said. She's going to be a coach someday. She's going to be a heck of a coach. Uh, like Troop said, I mean, just that grittiness. I just, I hate it when you can't check that box. I, I absolutely hate it when you can't check that box. And, and we can't do that again tonight. You know, we saw it in the Georgia game, Kentucky game. And um, not just because the, the end result, uh, but anytime you allow 50 points and a half, um, you can't tell me that's, that's the, uh, the level that we need to play at. Coach, can you speak a little bit on Haley Frank, obviously 26 points tonight, but as well getting the free throw line so much, finishing up 11 for 11 as well? Yeah, she's just a warrior. I mean, you talk about a competitor and giving her every fiber of her body to this team and trying to figure out ways to win. I think, uh, you know, one of the most um, – one of the qualities about her that's really special that you guys don't get a chance to see is the energy that she comes into every single huddle with, trying to pour into other people, trying to get people to come with her. Um, she just battles, you know. She's she's got great maturity and um, huge night for us tonight. And and you know for her to get to the free throw line 11 times was big for us. But she commands so much attention, and you know she's going against. Sometimes a double team, sometimes there's three people on her and, and just continues to play at a really high level for us. Haley, the last couple of games you started off a little bit hotter, especially considering the compared to the last handful of games before that. What's been the difference so far between Vanderbilt and today as opposed to some of the past games? Um, I think uh, just being confident, you know, I think for myself, uh, I was kind of getting in the mindset of like, oh, I only have seven games left. Like, I was putting that pressure on myself, and it's just something that um, you feel it in all aspects of the game when you do that, and like you're not playing free. I think I told myself like, you know, you just have to go out there and play. Like, it's basketball. You've done this your whole life, and uh, just don't feel that pressure. And I've felt a lot better the last couple games, just um, you know, being myself and being assertive and doing what I need for the team. Robin, just what's the answer moving forward to those second um, second chance points that you, you guys are giving up? Is what you're seeing from Jayla, or does that need to change, or what's the answer down low? Well, I mean, they only had nine second chance points, but they they uh, they were big ones. You know, I, I think. Uh, they, they scored on um, what they end up with, eight offensive rebounds, and um, it just seemed like they scored on timely ones. Uh, you know, to me, again, you look at our turnovers, and, um, you know, those come back to bite you. And um, you're going to turn the ball over in this league, but, again, we it's again and again and again Groundhog Day where you go back and you watch film and you say, these are controllable turnovers. You've got to be able to play with pace, um, you know, and just – we're just not doing a great job of that. Um, I don't know what they had with points off turnovers, but it was 20, 20 from our 16. We always try and keep it 12 or less. And then there's a couple times we got caught um, kind of in no man's land defensively, and, and they got kick out rhythm threes that hurt us as well. So, um, you know, it's, it's you got to put 40 minutes together. You have to play it one possession at a time with a sense of urgency, finishing plays, being really connected on the offensive end, getting the best shot for the team, not early deep threes or, or just, um, you know, jacking up threes, but playing inside out with pace and patience and really working to get the best shot for the team. And I don't think we consistently did that tonight. Uh, defensively, though, um, the ability to have one-on-one -on -one accountability. And uh, it's me against you, and I'm going to compete, and you're not going to get in the pain. And if I'm supposed to chase a shooter, I'm going to stay, chase a shooter. And it, it's just we're not putting 40 minutes together of being assignment correct. We'll take one or two more if you guys have them. Robin, what did you think of the shot selection as a whole going into the third and fourth quarter? Um, I, I don't think they were horrible in the third and fourth. I thought there was some in the second that I wasn't real pleased with, but I didn't. Um, you know, we had a couple possessions in there, and you know, you're not always going to get clean looks. Sometimes you got to be able to, to create and, and uh, make something happen. So you're not going to get it right 100% of the time. Uh, there were a handful in there, but I, that second quarter is probably the one that stands out to me a little bit more. Can we got one more? Coach, so you're on the kind of the bubble of the NCAA tournament, and you guys are on a one in seven run over the last eight games, not where you want to be. What would you say to fans that might be a little worried about this run that you guys have been on? I'd say um, I know what's in that locker room. I believe in these girls. And uh, 
you know, I think they're, we understand what it, what it needs to look like. Uh, gone through a real rough patch. But if I'm breathing, I'm fighting. And uh, I love being in the trenches with them. We're going to figure it out.